Welcome back. I'm here with three stars of the critically acclaimed drama Queen Sugar, Omar Dorsey, Don Lion Gardner, and Kofi Sirabo. Welcome to the show. You know, the show has been a major success both for the network and for all of you as well. Uh, Ava DuVernay created it. Oprah's an executive producer. Those two names all but guarantees a hit. But did you have any idea it would be this big? It was totally an experiment. Yeah. Honestly, like that was the first thing Ava said to me really when I was testing is that we don't know what's going to happen with this. Mm -hmm. This is a pace, it's a it's a it's an intention, it's a luxuriating that we don't see very often especially with people of color at the center of the narrative. So, I think for us we were all hopeful and wanting folks to respond to the love that we put into it, but didn't know and receiving it has been like it's almost been shocking, right. you know? It's really almost been shocking. And it keeps growing, that's the crazy part. Like, there's so many new fans who are like going back and binging season one, yes. and then they're like, I know I'm late, but I still love Ralph Fett. You know what I mean? And I'm like, it's all good, but I think I, I really want to see what, what happens in five years. I've heard that the heavier the show, the lighter themes are behind camera. So what's the chemistry like offset? I think the more the drama, the more the love for us. Period. That really is oh, how it feels, really. Like, even when we're doing those incredibly emotional scenes where we're all drained, there's such a feeling of support, yeah. such a feeling of giving each other space, to feeling of respect and just love. It's really a show built on love. It is. Yeah. And, and sometimes I, when I walk in, because Don Lynn has some very heavy emotional stuff, and I see her drained sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I go into the uh, makeup trailer, and I just go and give her a hug, because I do see it, Don. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I see that she has this heavy load to carry. Mm. And, um, and you know, we give each other space, but we but, but the love is always there. It's an all-female director squad this season. Yes. Yeah. An estrogen army, yes. right? Yes, uh -huh. yes. What has it been like to have an estrogen army there to shape the narrative and to, and how has it influenced the work that you all deliver on screen? It's game-changing. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. completely game-changing. Yeah. It's game-changing for the industry. It's game-changing, I think, for me and me personally. I think for many of us, it's game-changing. I, I hadn't even been directed by a woman director in TV before mm. Ava. And then it was all women hmm. since then. Right. That was profound. It was and profound. Like Julie Dash. Yes. yes. Legend. Legends. Right. Legends in our midst. And, and legends coming up, really. Mm. There's some incredibly talented directors this season and last season. Well, I'll tell you what, man. There's something about female directors, man. They bring something out of me that dudes <clears throat> don't. And that's just real. They bring, a, they, they bring they this bring out? sensitivity. Mm. You know, like that, I couldn't play Hollywood the way I played it without uh, without mm. that female direction, because right. it would have been a full of machismo. Right. And right. when you can play it with, because I'm not Hollywood, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm full of machismo. <laughs> I'm Omar, but to, to be able to play it, sit back. It's something about being able to, uh, mm. you know, sit back in it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's a totally different um, direction than I think that a, a male would, would, would perspective would have came at it with. What do you hope the takeaway is for people who tune in to watch Queen Sugar? Because you want them to, I'm assuming, to be both entertained but also to be educated as well. The gift of the pacing, the gift of Ava and Oprah's intention of dimension and authenticity and cultural representation that feels like you can touch it and feel it and taste it, is that people who maybe aren't from those areas or aren't from those communities lean in and say, I see myself there and I am going to take the journey with you. Mm -hmm. I am going to grow with you. You know, it's crazy. I uh, stopped in the airport the other day and this guy was like, man, thank you, man. Hmm. You brought my family together on at 10 o'clock on Wednesday nights. We all sit around and we watch the show. Hmm. Wow. He said, and we never have that time. Everybody's on the phone. Everybody's, right, right, right. I know social media, everybody's doing whatever, but we are there with you guys. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we want. We, I mean, we bring, we're family. Mm -hmm. Families come in together and you watch it together. And that's like the biggest takeaway that, that, that I want to give. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, we can bring us all back together. Mm -hmm. It's real. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you Thank for bringing you. your family to our family. Yeah. And we'll be tuning in. Yay. Thank you.